Okay, let me know if y'all want this makeup look for beginners because I ain't no makeup guru, but you know, let me know. Anyway, what's up, y'all? I'm back. You already know what it is, who it is. This Lady Maya, the goddess in this. Okay, so we don't cuss on this channel. Yes, we do. <laughs> anyway, I got a different kind of video for y'all today. Um, you know, we quarantined, quarantined, and nobody, my job not letting me come to work. I don't have nothing to do. I'm by myself today. So, I was on Pinterest, and I came across this little, um, it was, what was it? Let me pull it up. Dang, I don't even got my phone, but I'm gonna put it right here. Basically, it was like, a, um, a list of prompts for like journal prompts for personal growth so it's like a bunch of questions and you basically write them down in your journal or whatnot and i have a journal but i was like maybe i should just make a video for y'all and you know self-reflect on camera and maybe it'll help other girls or just other people in general <clears throat> and it'll let people know like how important like self-reflection actually is and I personally self-reflect all the time which is why I have multiple journals um it helps me for when I'm going through stuff or whatnot but yeah so I have five prompts for y'all that you can also take from my video and write them in your own journal or you can just listen you know you never know who you could be helping self-reflection is really good for you First off, comment right now. No, 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 not comment. First off, subscribe right now. Um, click the subscribe way and like this video. And, well, like or dislike, depending on how you feel at the end of the video. But just let me know. Give me some feedback. And then turn on your post notifications because <sighs> y'all need to know when I post. <clears throat> so, here's five prompts for personal growth slash self-reflection so the first question is what did what do i need to let go of so in life what do i need to let go of um this is hard i feel like i need to let go of letting other people's opinions affect me because um, most of the time if I do something I've already thought about it in my head I've already thought about my actions and whatever I'm doing I've it's already premeditated so when I do something that I already know I want to do and then I hear somebody else's opinion about it and it might make me feel a way or I might think about how they feel all the time that's what I need to let go of is taking in other people's opinions that don't help me you know what i'm saying you get what i'm saying um something else i might need to let go of is um, inconsistency i need to let go of not being consistent because that is my biggest downfall i think is my biggest downfall so inconsistency and not listening to people's opinions who don't affect me in a good way. <clears throat> Number two. <coughs> Number two. What are 10 things I am grateful for today? So I am grateful for love that I receive on a daily basis from my mom, my boyfriend, myself, um, other people in my family. Love one thing i'm grateful for i'm grateful for john i'm grateful for my mom i'm grateful for my stepdad i'm grateful for another year my birthday just passed i'm grateful that i was able to get through last year which was really hard for me but i got through it so that's it was like a kind of like a big not achievement but it was good for me to see 21 especially being in another country so that's another thing I'm grateful for is I'm grateful that I got to experience being out the country and not one place but two places um 
I'm grateful for a roof over my head. Stuff that is really basic stuff that I'm grateful for, but like the basic stuff matters the most. Like the little things matters the most because the little things is what we take for granted the most because it's always there, but it could not always be there. So I'm grateful for a roof over my head. <clears throat> I'm grateful for Mimi, which is the lady who teach me pole. I'm really grateful for her because y'all know. Y'all know. If you're on Instagram, you know I'm grateful for her. I would not be doing something that I love all the time if she had not taught me originally. <clears throat> um, another thing I'm grateful for is... Um, my businesses even though I'm not consistent with them, they still keep me grounded. They still keep me uh, wanting more, you know? And then last but not least, something I'm grateful for is God because I always look to him no matter what, or him, her, whoever it is. I'm looking at something higher than me, the bigger picture, the universe, everything, you know? to keep me grounded and to keep me pushing so i feel like that's a good one i feel like y'all should do that one <clears throat> i feel like y'all should do that one okay what are 10 positive things <clears throat> about my life basically the same ones i said before um so including what i already said before Oh, well, I guess it's a little different. Mm, positive things about my life is that I have um, it shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of good ones. But is that I have somebody who loves me no matter what I'm going through or I mean, and um, supports me which is vice versa so that's a positive thing about my life um, that I have somebody that will never give up on me well I have multiple people my mom and my boyfriend I know for a fact they'll never give up on me um, when you are self reflecting you should use this time to really be honest with yourself so if you have to sit on one question for 15 minutes that is fine as long as you're being honest with yourself you don't want to just put anything down on your paper or just you know you really want to be honest positive things is that i do my makeup <laughs> so i'm learning how to do my makeup um positive things is that um we gonna come back to that one okay so number four is what are five ways i can go out of my comfort zone this year five ways i can go out of my comfort zone number one i already did one i already did one of them which was um creating a website because i was kind of afraid to have a website for my business because i'd rather it be more personal and i wasn't sure if i was ready for a website because that's a lot of responsibility but i gotta learn to take more responsibility for whatever I choose to put my energy into and then and then and then another way I can go out my comfort zone is to speak my mind more because I'm very passive and if I feel like you're wrong I'm gonna let you be wrong and I feel like you're right then you're right if I'm wrong I'm wrong you know but the whole thing is I need to learn how to speak my mind more Yes, that's a big one. On um, number three, um, ways I can go out of my comfort zone is to, this is not even like that important, but to try new hairstyles. Uh, I'm gonna keep whispering because it's quiet I'm in here, so. And it's weird when it's quiet, but besides that. Um, five ways I can get my comfort zone is to try new hairstyles because I am so basic 
like if I'm not wearing a ponytail then I'm wearing I don't know <laughs> I only wear hairstyles for short periods of time so I just want to try more uh, another way you can get my comfort zone this year is to trust people more that are not my family like going out more um so i can meet more people oh, and stop being things. so shy or whatnot if you know me in per if you met me in person outside of my home then you know i'm very quiet but or if you're not like somebody who's around me all the time they're very quiet so i want to get out of that and basically let my personality show even when I'm in an uncomfortable setting because I'm a super introvert so I think that was five but on to the next question is what motivates me to keep going well I want to be comfortable very comfortable when I grow up so that's what really motivates me because well actually I take that back what motivates me is that I want my mom to not struggle anymore if you know any of my siblings you know like we all are like talented in our own ways but none of them like my older siblings I'm the youngest none of, nobody has ever been able to buy my mom a home buy my mom a car like really get her to not struggle like we depend on her to help us i want her to depend on me like that's the type of time i'm trying to become so whether i get that through being an entrepreneur or being an entrepreneur and a nurse or whatever career i go into i don't want my mom to struggle so that's what motivates me that's what keeps me going and what motivates me is also I just want to see nobody in my family has like um trying to figure out what with it I don't think nobody in my my personal family is financially free so I want to be that one person well if I'm financially free, then my other family's going to be financially free. That's the type of time I'm on. But that's what motivates me. Anyway, but I hope y'all like this. I know it's like about me, but I feel like if you take these same questions and apply it to yourself, you can really make things seem more clear to you and you can like make your intentions in life more clear. <clears throat> um, yeah, so. This is a video about self-reflection and using self-reflection for personal growth. Uh, and I want to do more stuff like this. Maybe I'll be more entertaining next time. But like I said, it's really quiet in here. And I feel like this whole house can hear me. And I don't like that. But <laughs> I'm trying. So um, I wrote down in my little... I wrote down in my little journal like some stuff I want you to take from it so I'm gonna just read it so I put self-reflection is important for personal growth it causes you to be honest and vulnerable but I mean honest and vulnerable to yourself which dying. is needed nowadays um and then like I already said is self-reflection is amazing for personal growth that's another thing I want to work on my vocabulary because I don't know what happened but like I used to be so I used to talk so like intellectual like and it was natural for me but I don't got lazy with I don't got lazy I've gotten lazy with the way I speak so I need to change that so I'm gonna be working on that and using more positive words like amazing and like you know what I'm trying to say anyway I'm put the um I'm put the picture of the um like the prompts that I had I'm putting it on here so you can see you can pick 
you know what you want to write in your journal <clears throat> excuse me and then like comment if you like actually like this video or if i like wasting my time because stuff like this is good for me and i don't know if y'all would want to watch somebody self-reflecting on youtube but i mean i'm using it for i know i've googled like ways to help grow my you know whatever but just let me know okay so i'm gonna talk to y'all later and i hope y'all have a great day